All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day, and today I can't guarantee that I'm not just going to play straights again. We just finished the green deck, picking up the gold sticker on Juggler, Clown, and Gift Card. Next up, I want to do the Magic deck. We already got the win on the black deck, so we're going to skip over here to the Magic deck. Uh, of course, we start with these two Fool cards, but for me personally, I think starting with the Crystal Ball is also very powerful. I will try to do my best to showcase that. We'll see how it goes. All right, the D6 tag is not a skip that we want to take early. D6 tag is better when you have more money already. Um, so if you have more money, then you're able to afford more rerolls. And if you're going to reroll more times anyway, that's when this starts to have its power here. Um, you know, if you have $20 to spend on rerolls, then you can reroll five or six times, right? And you can get a lot of value from the D6 tag. So I think it's, you know, similar to the uh, economy tag, the one that gives you doubles your current amount of money, D6 tag kind of functions similarly. But you know, here in the early game, of course we can't afford it. So we'll just go play out the first round here. Um, interesting, we got the the classic three pair start here, but I see we also have a bunch of clubs and they're pretty high clubs. So I'm gonna discard looking for the high flush. All right, this is 38 chips is not enough. So if I do wanna go for the high clubs, I would discard like this, or I'm also noticing we have the full house. So this should be enough then. All right, in the first shop here, we have some rentals. Too early for rentals. Rentals are expensive, can't afford the rentals. Uh, we do have a telescope as an option here. We could open a buffoon pack. Um, I've got an idea. I want this telescope, so I'm actually gonna save my money here. All right, going into the next round, I have a straight right away. And then with a seven, eight, nine here, I have a good chance of going for another straight. So if I want, I could try to go for the six or the 10. There are seven of those. I have six cards to draw if I do it like this. Yeah, let's give that a try. All right, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Two straights looks good to me. All right, here's why. So I did the two straights. Now I get to pick up the telescope here and I could pick up the scholar. We don't have the uh, sticker on the scholar yet. Uh, this boss is tough. This boss is tough to play more than one hand here, you know, discarding random cards when you play hands. I think um, just to play it safe, I'm gonna pick up the Scholar. I think Scholar is the one, a one, a card that I don't have the sticker on yet. So if I wanted to, I could start to discard and start to look for a straight, either a nine or an ace here. If we don't get it using two discards, we're pretty dead. Let's try it. Nine or an ace. Okay, we did get the ace, so actually we just win. He's just gonna keep getting lucky. All right, now what we can do, uh, we don't have any celestial packs, so I'm actually gonna keep saving my money here. Um, I don't wanna skip for a rare, even a free rare. I want shops. I want a celestial pack so that I can get my telescope value. So here I have three of a kind fours. Let's discard looking for a high straight or at least some aces. So we've got one ace here. We can actually play a flush with aces or an ace. I'll play the flush just to get 
something on the board here. All right, so now we're part of the way there. If I wanna go for the straight, I could try to draw the seven, or I could try to go for the jack. Let's do that. Uh, let's go for the seven here, though with only three sevens, I don't feel super great about that. Yeah, maybe what I'll do is, I don't know, maybe go for the hearts is a little bit easier than trying to go for the straight. Let's try that. Uh, there we go. Of course, we get the flush. Now we've done it. Uh, you know, as much as I don't mind seeing Uranus here, what I really want to see is the Celestial Pack gives me a Saturn card because of the telescope. And then now, you know, on the Magic deck, there's a lot of interesting things that you can do with the Tarot cards with the Fool, copying your Tarot cards. But for me personally, a very powerful thing that we can do is we can use the Fool to copy the Saturn cards. And so now, already, even without any jokers here to help us score, we already have level four straights. And so now this already is 1500 points. We can win the next round without any aces and just one hand. Uh, assuming that I get a straight, which you know I'll admit is not guaranteed. Uh, maybe what we could do is we could play two pair. Aces is pretty good. Um, if I do want to play the two pair, you know, what flavor two pair? Maybe this and throw the 10 also. It's not going to be as many points as, you know, playing the 10s here. But if I do this, I have a chance of getting a jack for a straight or, you know, I have the hearts for a flush as well. Mm, three queens and some twos here is not going to be enough points. Let's go for the jack. We've got two discards. Uh, eight, seven, nine, ten. I'm gonna go for either a six or a jack. We have eight cards that we can draw. We got the jack. There's the straight. And see, already it knows that's gonna be enough points. Enough points to one shot the boss as well. Even with the debuff cards. So, you know, here's the difference. Here's the difference between playing straights versus playing, you know, flushes or full houses. Um, you know, early game, what I suggest is don't buy any booster packs. Focus mostly on uh, buying jokers when they're relevant, but not necessarily all jokers. Um, you know, saving up your money for interest. Wait until you have $25 in the bank. But if you're playing straights, these Saturn cards are worth a lot. And so every Celestial pack is worth a lot. And so it's best probably to buy every Celestial pack. It's not guaranteed that you'll get a Saturn card, but you'll get a Saturn card enough of the time for it to be worth it. Or if you have the telescope, you just know that you're gonna get it every time and then it's fine. Uh, we can pick up the Devil here for a gold card. All right, what flavor straight can we go for? Uh, maybe we can go for the nine. Try to draw the nine. Let's try again. Mm, we didn't get the nine, but we do have the upper straight here. I think what I wanna do as far as like gold cards are concerned, I have to choose between either an eight or a seven. Mm, between those two options, how about a seven? and then play the straight. Maybe I should sell the Scholar. All right, I can pick up here. Definitely I want this, definitely I want the Celestial Pack. Keep leveling up our straights. And then secondarily, do I want mm, Rental? I don't want. Cardomancer is a value generator, so I do take it. And probably now, actually we sell the Scholar, maybe, if we need it for interest. This is a little bit spooky. 
you know, scoring half molt and half chips. That's a quarter of our score if we have no jokers. So we need some jokers. Uh, we can take a temperance here or we can wait until after the next round. If we buy a joker, it's going to be worth more money. Let's go for the 10 for the straight. All right, uh, we didn't get the 10, but we can play a pair here, still digging for the 10. Any any 10, once we get the straight, it's a one shot. There we go. So there, you know, it looks like 6,000 points, but if the boss gives us a quarter of that, we're only gonna have 1,500, right? So we do need some significant scoring help, to be honest. So maybe the way that we get there is by picking up this buffoon pack. I need help. I need big help. Um, Brainstorm gives me more tarot cards, but doesn't help me score. But when I do get a scoring joker, I can copy it with the Brainstorm. I think obviously we do pick up the Brainstorm. That's going to make my temperance worth more money. All right. Clever joker is not the kind of technology that we need. So I think we just use the temperance here and save our money. Go next. In the next shop, we can consider re-rolling. All right, Hermit, we can use after the round and then get the maximum amount of money. Strength, we probably don't need, though we can hold on to it and make a straight in an emergency. Right, because it could be the boss situation could require us to play like three straights and then we can use a strength to play a third straight in an emergency. Here I'm going to go for either the eight or the king. So eight, nine, ten, jack, queen. Doesn't have an ace. Okay, worth a decent amount of points, but it's not a one shot there. We could follow up with a uh, two pair here. This two pair, I think, doesn't get us 200. What does the ace do for us? As like just a high card. Um, yeah, try that. Nice. All right, so we're gonna cash out here. We're going to pick up a hermit. This is actually very relevant. Riff Raff here, giving us two jokers. I'm into that. I'm into this. I'm into Celestial Pack here. Um, Jumbo Standard, I'm potentially less into, but we do have the money now. So if I do take the Riff Raff here, I do want the Surplus Voucher here. Um, now maybe I don't have money. So what's gonna be the deal here? How do I beat this boss? Scholar as part of our ace, strength to make aces, like that could be a winning plan, that could be a winning line. I think what we do is we get rid of the Scholar, we take two jokers off the riffraff, we use Cardomancer to give us two tarot cards, we can buy this standard pack. Alright, these things don't really help me. Um, chips helps a little bit, I guess a lucky nine is not terrible. Maybe a gold seal for the money. I think this is just not what I'm looking for. So I'll skip and go next for two tarot cards. Uh, of the things we could have got, this is not great. Uh, plus 10 molt is okay. Uh, credit card is not great, but we do get judgment here. So I'm going to sell the Riff Raff because it's costing me three bucks per round. Use the Judgment. Steven. Steven with this Wash Bunkler. That could be, that could be it. To make a straight, this does not look like what I'm trying to do to make a straight. So, you know, we could use the Strength card. We could uh, 
Let's go for, I don't know, it's just terrible. Let's get rid of the low cards, get rid of these. Actually, let's get rid of the jacks. Since we have Steven here, let's try to go for six and an eight. So we do pick up a six. I could turn a three into a four, but I'm still missing out on an eight. So let's go for the eight. Okay, really lucky, really lucky, but I'll accept. So here's that straight. Um, the molt from Steven is gonna be worth more for me to copy with a brainstorm. Wow, that shouldn't have, that <laughs> we, we got no business surviving there. That shouldn't have worked, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. But that shouldn't have worked. All right, uh, some options here. We can go, we can pick up the cola. It's free, you know? So here we uh, you know, do the business card, pick up the cola, sell the cola. We don't have to sell the cola right away. Extra hand, helping us make our straights is perfect. And in our Arcana pack, since we have the money, all right, um, I can use the Emperor to get extra tarot cards. Um, I probably don't need this, probably don't need the spades. Or those suit changers either, that's okay. Boss says play only one hand. Currently, we don't have that technology, but I think we can get there. Um, we can open the standard pack looking for a blue seal. Steel King. Steel might be good enough for us to take it. Good enough for us to take it. Let's give that a try. Steel King? Probably. Uh, we'll sell the cola. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use that on, but we can sell it. Let's, uh, for the next round here, probably two straights. Let's make sure we copy the Cartomancer. Let's make room. Get rid of these suit changers. All right, go next. Okay, Priestess is cool. Priestess for Saturn. Um, nope, that's okay. All right, what kind of straight? So maybe what I wanna do is I actually wanna use the strength on the three and the two here and play the low straight. That way we can get rid of the low cards. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna play this. Maybe copy the swashbuckler now. I could discard looking for my enhanced cards. Probably should have. I wasn't expecting to score so much there. So we scored, you know, like twice as much compared to the previous round, compared to the flint. The flint debuff is really strong, really brutal. Uh huh. Let's consult the Oracle here. The shortcut we don't have the sticker on. Also, it's one of my favorite jokers, if not the favorite joker. So I think we do pick it up. Beautiful. We can take the Celestial Pack for Saturn. And now we're invincible. Is that how that works? All right, do we want the standard pack? Sure, why not? Okay, well that's why not. That's all useless to me. Uh, go next. Temperance for 15 bucks, perfect. We've got a straight here and we have a steel card to go with it. Um, do we wanna to try to dig for the gold card now? Maybe. And, oh, I forgot we got the shortcut. <laughs> Ended up not needing it. We could have tried to squeeze in an extra even card. Um, I think with the steel card, this order is better, slightly. No, Swashbuckler is still better. Whatever, either way. 
Uh, square. Mm, holographic too. I mean, as far as like chips scaling, we don't need chip scaling because we have uh, Saturn scaling. Do we want six cents? Get rid of our sixes. I don't know yet. Let me think about it. Blue seal we do want. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe I'm supposed to sell Steven here. Let's reroll. All right. Seltzer is not relevant. Eight ball is fun, but also not relevant. Let's roll again. Chad. Not as a rental. So I'm gonna save the rest of my money for the next shop. All right. Ah, uh, perfect. So we, it looks like we could go for a five if we wanna to try to play a straight that way. Basically the current state of affairs is you, and as far as like the hand that I'm looking at right now is, um, if we get the straight, we win. If we don't get the straight, we lose, right? Those are the rules. So let's discard like this. We could get either a five or a six because we have the shortcut. So those are our outs. We got the five. That's it. We're free. So let's delete the kings. Well, let's discard first. Okay, we got a 10 here. I was gonna say, I wanted to discard looking for, you know, the blue seal. That's okay. Let's copy the, the swashbuckler. Ship it. So, you know, already 8,000 even without any joker help. Okay, um, let's go Celestial for Saturn. Standard pack. Hmm, do I, do I want a blue, do I want a purple seal? Uh, no, nah, we don't need this. Skip. All right, so Cardomancer I need, Shortcut I need, probably these two I need. Do I want... DNA is DNA something that I need wait we do have the gold sticker on the DNA great because that would have been terrible if I had to do that uh, we could take the matador matador will cost us a little bit of money with the rental fees but it'll pay for itself against the boss that seems pretty exciting maybe we don't need to do that maybe we don't need the money um, I do make room here for the tarot cards so we can use a hermit and re-roll some. All right, do I want a bean? Yes. Uh, I do lose out on some value from Steven, but that's okay. That's just going to make it easier for me to find my blue seal. Reroll one more time. Ah, uh, do I want a rental fortune teller instead of the swashbuckler? Do I want a steel card? I do want a steel card. I can make the blue steel. You know, it does prevent Cardomancer from generating an extra tarot card, but if I get the good tarot card already anyway, then I don't need to generate another tarot card. So I think I want that. I think uh, with this swashbuckler here, maybe we switch to the fortune teller. Maybe it doesn't matter because our straights are so high leveled already. Probably. Let's give it a shot. Um, sorry, let's go. Um, definitely the swashbuckler I don't have the sticker on, right? Fortune teller I do have. Where's the swashbuckler? Is 
It's just a common joker, right? Um, where is it? <laughs> there it is. Yeah, 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 we need the gold sticker on the swashbuckler. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll, I'll keep with that one. I'll reroll one more time. Ah, uh, death is pretty compelling. Awkward, but worth it. For the, these three, these are the best three. Worth it. All right, what I need to do now is I need to draw a straight. Okay, so I got the blue seal, which I can turn into steel, and I can use death to copy it. So if I copy it and I make another, you know, face card, let's say another queen, then I want to continue removing, let's say, the low cards from the deck. So here, ace, queen, jack. Wait, I have a straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a straight. So I can discard these other cards. I was hoping to have some low cards removed with the hangman, but maybe I'll remove some aces instead. So these aces we can remove. This other ace here we can turn into a blue steel card. And then now, the candlelight was fire. Ship it. And we just level up uh, straights now, twice. <laughs> and we got the shoes. Probably we don't even need the shoes. I mean, we already got the sticker on the shoes, I bet you. I bet you. The shoes are here. We got the gold sticker already, of course. Um, yeah, I think we just keep with what we have here. Uh, keep with the bean too. We have money, we could buy these Arcana packs. What kind of skip tags can we get? We could take the money here, doubled. That's a lot of money. I think we do take the money. All right, uh, Emperor. Steel cards, glass cards. Fool for another emperor is not great, but you know, here maybe another steel king. I guess we don't have to use it right now, though maybe I do need to use it right now because of the cardomancer. So, you know, someone asked, like, you know, what's the difference between cardomancer and uh, hallucination? It seems like hallucination is just like budget cardomancer, you know, it's the common version of cardomancer. Like, that's what makes it good, is the fact that it's a common and it's easily accessible. But, you know, that's not all. So, the way that hallucination works is, you get the tarot cards in the shop, you use the tarot cards in the shop. You then have, after you've used the tarot cards, or sold them if you want, now you have your consumable slots are free. So, you know, a common play pattern is we go through a couple rerolls on the shop, we pick up tarot cards, we hold them into the next round, right? If you have the Cardomancer, you don't get to hold any tarot cards. So we just had the round where we had Hangman and Death and Chariot. And, you know, we could be Justice also. It could be, there's plenty of cards that I want to hold on to. With Cardomancer, you don't get to hold on to them. Whereas with the Hallucination, you can. You get to use them right away. I open an Arcana pack. If I spawn a card, I can use it right away. Or I know that it's something that I want to sell. I have that information. I can open the booster packs before I do my shopping. That gives me information about maybe I don't reroll because of the tarot card that I got. Um, whereas Cardomancer doesn't allow you to do that. Um, you know, on average, Cardomancer giving you one tarot card per round. Hallucination on average also giving you, you know, half a tarot card per booster pack. So one tarot card on average per round. So, you know, it gives you the same number of average tarot cards, but it's cheaper, right? Because it's a common. Hallucination is a common. Also has synergy with Oops All Sixes, you know, where you get guaranteed tarot cards or, you know, even synergy with uh, Brainstorm. Like, of course, Brainstorm copying Cardomancer, but then you need to have even more Joker slots open. And so here 
you know, demonstrating the power of the crystal ball. Crystal ball allows you to buy tarot cards from the shop and still use these tarot card spawning jokers. Like there's a ton of them, right? Now there's eight ball and cardomancer hallucination. Uh, the, let's see here, you know, even six cents and seance giving you consumables, not tarot cards, but other consumables. The superposition giving you tarot cards. Um, another power of the crystal ball is holding onto the planet cards to block the duplicate planet cards. If you hold on to three at a time. All right. Here, what do I want to do? I think I will use the chariot. I think I will make a steel king here. Um, how do I want to use my glass card? I'm going to make a glass seven here in the middle ish area. And then the fool to make another glass card rather than a steel card. I'd rather have glass for the card removal rather than the steel, rather than the gold card, rather than the two lucky cards. All right, now knowing that, now maybe we don't re-roll, right? Because we're gonna get two tarot cards from the Cardomancer. Now, do I wanna take the money, like an absurd amount of money, an obscene amount of money? Yes. <laughs> All right, go next. Oh, what is this nonsense? All right, would you rather have 20 bucks or times two score? I don't know. That's a tough, that's a tough call there. Two, three, four, five, six. So let's discard looking for the blue steel. All right, uh, let's discard again looking for the Zoolander. Mm, okay, we get the steel card here, but not blue. Do we dig? We have five hands. The answer is the answer is dig. The answer is yes. Um, two pair, ship it. You know, as far as like our telescope is concerned, we have plenty of extra hands. We could burn them. You know, we could even do this if we want. Um, so I do use the hermit question is what do I want to do with the fool? I'm not, I haven't decided yet. What I really want is to get a death card, but maybe that's too much to ask. You know what I'm saying? So how about, uh, we can play, we can play these pairs of Kings. That way we get the money. All right, 20 cards left in the deck. So discard like this, like this. All right, there's one. Let's go again. E so one in three chance, one in three chance that I get the uh, blue steel card. Or I could also go for the gold card here. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the dollar. We got plenty of dollars. Ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, do I want the money or do I want the steel card? Or the glass card? Let's go for the glass cards. So. No, if I have the steel cards, I don't need the glass cards. Though currently that's, you know, part of that's coming from the turtle bean. Glass is worth more than 20 bucks. So I've got a seven here. I'm gonna make a glass eight. And I'm gonna make a glass six. So eight, seven, six, five, four. Let's smash. So with only the swash bonkler, which is only plus 14 mold, that's already 150,000. <laughs> and it's only getting bigger. I keep forgetting shortcut. Shortcut is never going to be relevant, which is just too easy to draw straights. Uh, we do get the observatory here, which is pretty hilarious. <laughs> um, all right, let's go standard pack. This stuff doesn't matter anymore. Now I just want more blue steel. I just want more Zoolanders. Let's go Arcana pack. 
Mm, yeah, here, let's go more planet cards. Give me Saturn. Um, yeah, not really what you want to see here. Not super excited to see Uranus here. Let's, uh, Fortune Tell is pretty big, but I don't know, straights are already big enough already. Let's just keep rolling here. Uh, we can look, look at this photograph. Hmm. I'm, yeah. We, we gotta, we already have the gold sticker on the photograph for sure, right? Where is it? Wait, it should be easy to find because it's tiny. <laughs> it, there it is. Yeah, we already got the gold sticker on the photograph. Ah, uh, I feel like... Uh, we could use the Mary Andy for the extra discards to find the blue. That's correct. And then later on, I, I know we got to get the, the sticker on the Swash Bunkler eventually, but later on, we can, we can replace the Jokers later on. Um, I do have an absurd amount of money here, so I'm going to reroll maybe like four times. Um, we already have the sticker on Hit the Road. There's a Saturn card. So, you know, I guess one thing that's like kind of awkward about holding on to it is um, then we can't get any more in the shop as we're re-rolling, which is kind of a bummer. Though we do get plenty from the blue steel cards, so maybe it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna hold this here. I'll hold on to the Saturn cards. Uh, we don't need the red card. Spin the wheel. So I don't remember if I've said this before, but the way that I feel about the wheel is, um, it's one in four chance to give you Either if it's foil, foil is about the same as one planet card. Holographic is about the same as two planet cards. And so, you know, if you get the foil, it doesn't just benefit one hand, it benefits all of your hands. So it's the same as getting a black hole. It's the same as upgrade all poker hands by plus one level, all of them. And so the Wheel of Fortune has one in four chance is not a great chance to be completely honest, but the upside is very high. And so if you open up a Celestial Pack, Celestial Pack, Celestial Pack has a 1 in 3 chance to give you the planet card that you're looking for. So Wheel of Fortune has a lower probability than a Celestial Pack, but it has a higher payout. So any situation where it makes sense to buy a Celestial Pack, it also makes sense to, make, to buy the Wheel of Fortune. It has the same expected value, perhaps better expected value. Uh, buy the wheel every time. You know, even if it doesn't pay out there, it's totally fine. Like Celestial Packs, um, two thirds of the time, they don't give you the thing that you're looking for. You still buy them anyway. Because you, in order to get the payout, you just need to buy it more times and then it'll average out. It'll be fine. Uh, we could take the oops here. Um, I don't think that does anything for us. Smear Joker doesn't either. Let's save our money for the next shop. You know, spreading out our reroll money. Skip here for 40 bucks, or if we play it out, we can get more blue steel. I think we play it out. Skipping for 80 bucks, I was willing to do. Skipping for 40 bucks, I'm not willing to do. Strength card? Maybe. Maybe bring the low end up to the middle? Maybe. So if I do want to do the shortcut, I can do, I don't have to use the glass cards. I don't have to try to break the glass cards. I could just do uh, nine, seven, six, five, three. Now it shortcut really does make it trivial to get your straights. I'm going to discard the glass cards since I can. Maybe something like this. I want to try to get some twos and then use strength on some twos. Let's try that. All right, we got a steel king that we don't need necessarily. Um, yeah, discard like this, discard like this. We have so many discards, so here nine eight seven six five. We don't need, here, we could do this. Discard these. 
you know, have the maximum gaps here. Discard a 10 also. All right, ace, 10. Um, maybe we play the king. We play the king for the money. So here, six, four. We could play a pair of kings, why not? All right, uh, yeah, just give me the low cards. And my steel cards. So I have a two and I have one of the steel cards. It's worth it to go for more. It's worth it to keep digging. So my two is gonna become a three. So I can discard like this. Um, I have another jack. I have another four and six and seven and stuff like that. Yeah, this is fine. We have 12 cards left in the deck. So, you know, I can get rid of the seven too. All right, um, seven and six here. I need one or the other, but not both. Actually, there's another seven in the deck, so I don't need either. I can get rid of the eight here. So I just need to draw the seven. And here the twos, I wanna turn into threes and then discard them. So I think uh, we'll play like this. And then we'll go for the seven. We'll go for the all odds. Wait, no, wait, that's not supposed to be a straight. I messed up. <laughs> Damn you, shortcut. Damn you, everything is a straight. Fine, be that way. Um, I could just hold on to the Saturn cards now. Damn you. I was paying too much attention to what was in my deck and not enough attention to what was in my hand. Um, yeah, we could take the 15 bucks here rather than make some lucky cards. Why not? Standard pack, probably not relevant, of course. That's okay, we got the money anyway. Devil card, meh. Juggler, instead of the bean. Mm hmm. It is a rental, meh. All right, Temperance, of course. The Supernova. I mean, <laughs> plus 14, that's nothing. All right, go next. Next. Uh, we already got the sticker on the egg. Otherwise, I would take the egg, actually. Let's just go one more time. All right, Super Position. <laughs> uh, do I want to try to do that? I mean, I do got five discards. Wait, wait, wait. That's because I have this. Maybe I get rid of the bean? Wait, maybe I get rid of Andy? Uh, I do have the shortcut, so I can make the... I only have the one ace in the deck. All right, you've talked me out of it. Go next. Um, Empress, we... I mean, we could use it, but we don't need it. Let's go Priestess. This stuff we don't need. All right, how about... Let's not screw it up this time. <laughs> Discard like this. All right. I'm gonna keep all odds. All right, Jack, nine, five, four, three. We got more threes. We got more sixes and nines. I don't know, discard like this. Just give me the good stuff. All right, I have a five, seven. I'll get rid of the four. I'll get rid of the eight, 10, nine. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, that's a straight. Uh, on the low end here, we're getting a little thin. Maybe I'll throw away the seven. All right, so we do got the, the steel cards. We got the this with an eight and a seven. I have a straight if I want it right now, or I can play the jacks and try to get three bucks. Mm, try again. We don't need the king. Wait a second. 
<laughs> uh, oh, we do get the seven here. There, eight, seven, six, five, three. That's it, that's a straight. Ship it. Oh, that's not quite enough yet. Interesting. So if you want, wait, that sucks. <laughs> um, I mean, we only need like 400 points here, right? So I don't know, we could play uh, a flush, I guess. A flush with uh, this here is gonna be, that's worth 300 points. Man, that's disappointing. We done botched it again. Fine. All right, Celestial Pack here. Get rid of the Jupiter. Use Death card here. Let's reroll four tarot cards. Uh, we could pick up the four Fiener's to help us make our straights instead of Andy here. I do like having the extra discards. Maybe instead of the bean, we'll pick up the four Fiener's. Pick up the bull for the chips. Doesn't matter. We could pick up the golden joker for the money. Probably doesn't matter. We already have a nice amount of money anyway. Um, Burglar. Do we have the sticker on the burglar? I could be interested in that. Yeah. Try to get a sticker on the burglar. Maybe as a replacement for Andy here. Because we could do this. We could copy the burglar with the brainstorm. Alright, Arcana pack. There's my queen. So we can copy it with death. We can use, uh, let's see here, Temperance. We'll use Hermit. We'll spend $9 on a reroll. Ooh, Hangman is great. Uh, gift card, good too. Probably we don't need both of these. Probably we don't need the Fiener's and the Shortcut. Though, we already have the sticker on the shortcut. If I wrote, yeah, if I'm correct here, we don't have the sticker on the four Fiener's. I keep skipping them. Yeah, so yeah, we could take these. We could take uh, the burglar here. Go next. Minus one hand size. Rude, rude. That's okay. All right, now, that's it. So, uh, low cards I want to remove. Uh, I'm going to play these five just to get rid of them. Let's try to find a straight. So here, six, seven, ten doesn't do it, right? So let's drop the low cards. Because here I go king, jack, ten. Maybe I'm trying to draw either an eight or a nine. Uh, king we don't need. So eight or a nine here. Mm. Do we dare? Do we dare go one at a time? Yeah, let's do it. We could get an eight or a nine. E <laughs> probably. Probably we could get an eight or a nine. E I forgot we got the Fiener's. So this is good here. Um, we can make a gold card. We don't make a gold card. All right, ship it. <laughs> I think Cardomancer is on the chopping block. What do you think about that? We did play high card quite 
an obnoxious number of times there. We can always get the gold sticker on the Cardomancer in the future, right? We got one dollar rerolls. Um, let's just go next. This is it. <laughs> We've done it. So let's try to avoid playing a straight. How do I avoid playing a straight? <laughs> Uh, maybe I can do this. That's not a straight. Ooh, dodged a bullet. Okay, good. What about... Okay. Um, this is not a straight. This is a straight. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, dodge. Okay, we did it. Alright, what about these queens? Not a straight. Okay, good. Ooh, did it. Okay, these queens. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so let's drop the ace. Let's actually, let's drop the king for the money. All right, four, five, six, seven. That's a straight. <laughs> um, and do I want to use my Saturn cards? Yeah. <laughs> Is this gonna be enough points if I don't use it? If I, nah, I'm gonna use them all. We could get another straight. If we need another straight, we can get another straight. I'm gonna use them all. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> all right, I was playing sloppy before, but uh, now we're now we're cooking. Never punished, of course. All right, how about a standard pack? Mm, yeah, we don't need that. There's very little that we need to reroll for, if anything. Yeah, we just stop there. I mean, we could replace the Cardomancer with anything. Um, but I want to keep it for the sticker. So, okay, we got the queen there. We got the... Uh, I mean, this is a straight, if we play it. Maybe we just do it. Play the straight. I mean, that's like a decent number of Saturn cards already. We don't need to be greedy for more. Is that true? <laughs> is that true, team? We don't need to be greedy? What's the boss situation? I should at least look. After hand played, face down. Honestly, awkward. Honestly, rude. With the with the burglar. All right, um, I'm gonna make a three into a glass card, probably. Or do I want to save the death card for my blue seals? I think we're good on the blue seals. Yeah. All right, let's spin the wheel. Uh, we don't need that either. How about, uh, how about a glass? What kind of glass you want? How about glass seven? Boom, done. All right, let's go next. One dollar reroll though. Yeah, yeah, nah. All right, king, queen, jack, nine, that's a straight. Six and three, we can remove it. King, queen, jack, nine, that's a straight. All right, it's a little late for it now, but typically if you are going for straights, if you're going for the Saturn cards, picking up Planet Merchant is huge. Pretty, you know, the, the same reason why you prioritize the Celestial Packs. Of course, uh, Planet Merchant, I think, has a lot of value. But here, since we're holding on to the Saturn cards for the uh, Observatory, I feel weird about the Observatory. Observatory is pretty awkward. Pretty awkward holding on to the extra planet cards, though, since we are playing on the magic deck, we do get to hold an extra planet card. So that's pretty spicy. 
one random joker disabled? Oh no! I don't know what I'm gonna do. Is this a straight? Wait, how do I make it not a straight? Uh, we do it like this. Okay. Ooh, we did it. Figured it out. All right, we got the queen now. Now we can do a straight. You want a straight? How about this straight? Use one of these Saturn cards. Oh no, it's been disabled. Broke all my fingers. All right, uh, Arcana Pack? Mm. Yeah, we don't need any of this. I better get the sticker. Even though it's disabled, I better get the dang sticker. Oh, by the way. Oh, wait, I don't think... I was going to say, if you could get a perishable Michelle banana, then you can disable it so it won't be destroyed. But I think they can't be perishable, just like... Uh, you know, the food jokers can't become Eternals. Uh, is there anything in here that I want? Probably not. Alright, uh, there are some glass cards. If I do this, it's not a straight. Sweet. Man, it's so tough to dodge. Um, I think this is, wait, not a straight? Ship it. All right, let's try again. Not a straight. Ship it. Almost a straight. Okay, good dodge. All right, we got the queen now. We can play... I'm gonna play like this for the money. All right, jack, nine, eight, I guess seven, five, wait, what am I missing here? Oh, the, I broke my fingers. I forgot I broke my fingers. All right, do I need this many Saturn cards? I'll just play two straights. I'll just play two of them, or I just play one. Oh, well. All right, uh, we could pick up some a glass card. We want you want a glass card? Maybe. Nah, just holding on to these Saturn cards is gonna be too valuable. Maybe there's a fool in here. Oh, we could take a hangman. We could take. Uh... Yeah, what do you want to remove? We got a lot of queens. We don't need this many queens, probably. If I had to guess. Oh no, my Cardomancer. All right, um, so I don't have the Fiener's anymore. If you got the four Fiener's, you could do this. You could do, uh, this is a straight and you can get the seven counted twice and get both glass cards. But unfortunately, we don't have that technology anymore. Um, I guess this is a straight if you wanted it to be a straight. Yeah, I want my six and my eight. Is that too much to ask? Let's do it. So here, the eight, nine, that's a straight. Let's do this. All right, uh, so we got the sevens. We got the eight, nine. Let's go for the, uh, we need the six. We got the six. So is that all the glass you got? That's all the glass we got. So we can go five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if we can get some steel. Um, should I be throwing the nines and the fives away? No, because I don't, you know, if the shortcut is, is disabled, which is not guaranteed to happen, but if it does, it would be pretty awkward. So let's just throw them two at a time. We do have a lot of hands here, so we got a lot of chances. All right, there we got the king. We can go for, do I have any more steel? I do have a couple more. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Aha. <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to get any more Saturn cards from this. That's, uh, that's going to be my best hand. Unfortunate. Alright, here it goes. All right, folks, once again, demonstrating, uh, you know, the scaling on the Saturn cards. Pretty good. Um, the blue seals as a way of getting planet cards. Pretty good. And then so you put those two things together. Pretty good synergy. Uh, telescope is pretty cool, uh, giving you more Saturn cards. The observatory is okay though you know if you are playing on the magic deck and you do have the crystal ball for the extra consumable slot then of course even better uh we do get new stickers on a bunch of jokers uh, that maybe we won't see again all right take care everyone